Hey everybody, this is Charles and I'm the product developer at the home of the BioBlaster Ozone Machines. And today I'm all the way over in Ormond Beach, Florida with one of my uh, proud ozone generator owners, Bobby Gentry. His company's called Advanced Carpet Cleaning here in Ormond Beach and it's a family owned business. How long have you been in business? Approximately 25, 25 years plus. 25 years. And so the services you provide are, are disaster relief and carpet cleaning primarily? Carpet cleaning, mold remediation, uh, guaranteed odor controls, we do quad cleans. We, we actually turn homes into what they call clean rooms. Awesome. And you bought your first ozone generators from me a long time ago. Five years? About five years ago, yeah. About five years ago and it was like <laughs> and I remember talking to you the first time, and you told me, you know, your machines look awful good on video, but I'll tell you if they actually work, because I've been using ozone, you told me, for 15 or 20 years at the time. At least. And so, for everybody uh, at home that's watching, we've got a couple of Bobby's old ozone machines set out. He's got an Alpine air purifier. He was a dealer of those a long time ago. We've got a big old Sauna's air. That thing took two of us to haul in here. Still works. Older, old machine still works, but it barely puts out ozone. It puts out some ozone, but yeah. it's not... By not, comparison. It's not lots of ozone. Right. <laughs> and so, uh, you got my first uh, toolbox style ozone machines years ago, the Rugged about, Pros. About five years ago. And, uh, and, and have you used them over the years? Oh, we've been using them quite a bit. Some real, some real good stuff. You'd be so, the, surprised. so the first time you tried one of my ozone machines compared to one of the other ones that you're familiar with, like the ones that we've got here, what was the experience like? We went into a house, we used two. One in one direction, one in the other direction. We turned them on and uh, the guy that was with me, he's been using ozones with me for years. He says, Bobby, he says, I think we need to leave. <laughs> he says we gotta go. <laughs> yeah. He kind of nicknamed him. He kind of nicknamed him to set it and forget it. Right, like Ronco. Like right. Yeah. That's, yeah. What he, that's what he said. Set, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. I, you know, I just, I just couldn't believe the difference. I mean, over the years, I've used UV. Yep. I, you can see some of the other machines I've used, and we always thought we were producing ozone. We plugged those toolboxes up. Then we knew what ozone was. Yeah, and you know, real, I, I, I'm talking about real ozone. Yeah, and I love the the Ronco example, the set it and forget it example, because there's a lot of people, you know, you are in a class of what I would call um, a successful business owner who has added a revenue stream by using ozone for odor removal and other things, mold remediation amongst them. And but we've helped, you know, 500 plus, 600 plus people start odor removal businesses from scratch using our ozone equipment. But we've probably got a thousand or more companies like yours that, now you were doing odor removal beforehand, but a lot of them before they met me had never tried it. And so there's a lot of people leaving money on the table that own carpet cleaning businesses, that own cleaning companies, uh, you know, that are in the fire and flood business and they concentrate on uh, fire damage and they might use ozone in their room to decon stuff, but they're really not taking advantage of the money that's being left we, on the table. We use them for we use them for uh, fire damage, smoke odors, pet odors, cigarette smoke, cigars. We uh, we use them uh, in our in our drying, you know, um, the water restoration, structural drying. I don't know how. That I don't know how we were doing this like we were without them. I really don't. I mean, it's it's it's, 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 it's such a big difference. And I, and I have long been a believer that if you're going to do a mold remediation project, you cannot offer the customers a completely remediated project without going through all the traditional protocols and then, at the very end, running that ozone to break down all the MVOCs and the mycotoxins and all the secondary metabolites of the mold that are left behind at, by a mold problem. All the pathogens, and we just did a mold job. We couldn't even stay in there. 
We put the ozone and an air scrubber in overnight, went back the next day. Now we were able to start working. We like to do that too. And you know, I've had mold inside my body. Uh, my mold customers know that. Most of my mold workers at one point or time or another have had to deal with mold as a pathogen in their bodies. And we love to run ozone at the beginning of our jobs because we're, we feel a lot safer. It's a must. Yeah. As far as we're concerned, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not using Charles's ozones, these ozones are bad ass. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, they're absolutely the best I've ever used. I've used we what we've used the UV, we've yeah. used UV, and then we switched to the Corona system. We found you online. We and we ordered what five? We ordered yeah, five five, five yeah. systems and never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Tell me, how did you find out about ozone? Was it your dad that taught you about ozone? Yes. Yes, it was. And yes, it was, he, our, it was our dad. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he knew about ozone and, and decided that it would be something to add to your business. We started out with the UV. With UV. UV. Then we became a distributor of this guy's right here. And, and for those of you that don't know, these machines, really, they do a couple of things. They make a little bit of ozone. Uh, but their real claim to fame is inside them they have what's called radio frequency ionizers. And ions are different than ozone in that the ions would go out into the air and attach to particles in the air. And the earth uh, having an opposite charge and sometimes the walls, it would, it would take the particles that are floating around in the air and drop them down. Exactly. And so it doesn't make ozone, but it would be what you would call nuisance levels of ozone as opposed to shock levels in order to kill viruses or bacteria. But if you're changing a diaper, uh, that's a great machine to have if you want to clear that room out of a you know, fish smell or Uncle Frank's cigar or a diaper. I, I used to have a, a version of those when my kids were babies and that was what we would keep in there after we would change the diaper. Of course, we didn't leave the, the child in there when we were doing it, but we would close the door after we change the diaper, turn that on for five minutes and clear that, that odor out. You know, you, you, can, you can stay in a dwelling with this running. Yeah, right. But you can't stay in a dwelling with this one running. Yeah, and so... It's not going to happen. So tell me some of the ways that you market your jobs. Because, you know, that's... Uh, for a lot of the guys that have never been in business, one of their biggest challenges is, how do I find customers? Now, you're old enough you got into this in the Yellow Page days, but now that we've moved to the Internet, what do you do to, to attract customers? Well, our, our, our biggest way of, of getting our uh, ozones out there was word of the mouth. Word of mouth. You just have to tell people what you can do and don't be afraid to do a demonstration. Yeah. So we talk to a lot of our customers. We have a base. We have a foundation. Yeah. We do, you do property management companies? Property management, real estate, we have homeowners, uh, attorney's offices, doctors, we do a lot of doctor's offices, um, chiropractors. Now, do you network at like the mixers and real estate events and insurance company scrambles and things like that? Okay, honestly, we haven't done any advertising in 10 years. Well, that's okay, but you're we're established put, we're put, Yes, that's what I'm, yes. We started off letting our regular customers know what we can do, what the capabilities are, and it just snowballed from there. And you do have nice big lettered vans out front. One doctor tells the next doctor. One attorney tells the next attorney. And what are the doctors using it for? Well, we're killing all the pathogens. We're keeping their offices um, to a respectable level for their, for their clientele. Oh, so you're using the ozone in the doctor's office. We're using the ozone in the doctor's offices. Um, and do they do they notice a difference? Yes, yes. Really? There are some people that are actually having their offices done every six months. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. I honestly think it should be every month. If I were a doctor and I had that kind of a pathogen load coming in on all the clients in that waiting room, anyone who's ever been to the doctor in the United States knows it's a system. So you get funneled through the waiting room and then to the yeah, little rooms. Yeah. And there's a lot of waiting, and while you're waiting, you're breathing, you're touching things, you know, kids are running around, they're blowing their noses, and all that stuff gets in the air. If you make up a card, and you have some great, you have good ozones, and you're not afraid to do a little footwork, 
get out and talk to people, it, things will just start happening. It'll just go. go now, go, we, go. we did not plan this, but uh, I talked to Bobby uh, last week, and he said, I'm going to order another ozone machine. And uh, so I just wanted to uh, order another ozone machine, and I said, well, you know, I'm not too far from you. I'd like to well, come we, down. We actually, we actually ordered a couple of them, a couple, yeah. a couple new ones. Yeah, and I said, I'd like I, to. I had to try them out. I had to try these new ones out. Yeah, so I said, I'd like to come talk to you about it. So coincidentally, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, this new vertical tornado shows up, and I said, told him, my guys nicknamed it the Warthog. Because it is a short, <laughs> ugly, powerful workhorse. And that's the 40K vertical ozone tornado. So I'm going to let Bobby tell you the story because he's already had a chance to put this baby to work and make some money. Well, we just got this, what's today, Saturday. Yeah. UPS delivers it Thursday night, about when the sun was going down. 8.30 Friday morning, we have a rental house. They smoke cigarettes in the house, had four dogs for three months. Yeah. It's so a landlord contacted you. The cleaning lady. Cleaning lady. The cleaning lady. She's knocking on my door. She says, we can't rent this place. They're coming here today at 3.30. This is 8, 8.30 in the morning. I said, okay, we got this. <laughs> but we took the warthog over there. I mean, the vertical. Yeah, it's the ver Yeah, we took the vertical. We set it up. Uh, dropped the return, the filter. Went back two hours later just to check on it and see, you know, how what kind of progress we were making. All the cigarette smoke, all the pet odor was gone. And the, the cleaning lady was impressed. The cleaning lady, I said, well, I asked her, I said, you smell the pet anymore? She says, I don't smell anything. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was amazing. It was really yeah. something. And was that a $100 job, $200 job? Well, it's a regular customer. We charged them. We charged them about hundred. We charged our. We charged our one hundred twenty-five dollars. So that was a bare bottom budget price. Bare budget bottom price. The lady doesn't understand. Now she's a believer. She's so happy that we were able to take care. We're talking cigarette smoke. We're talking pets. You got somebody checking in at the end of the day. Three thirty. They're coming in. Yeah. You could have cost her a thousand bucks. The cigarettes would have cost her a thousand bucks if you would have done that job. Two hours later, yeah. two hours yeah. later, the cigarette was gone, the pet was gone. Now, how much time of your own did you have into that job? Two hours. Oh, well, I, no, your I, time. I, I set it up. I I'm not talking about Ronco time. No, Ronco, right, exactly. I'm talking about your labor. Well, this house happens to be right here on the same street. Yeah. It's, a, it's a rental house. Okay. So it took us 10 minutes to set it up. It took us uh, 10 minutes to air the house out. We went, so you got 20 minutes, 125 bucks. Exactly. That's uh, 350 bucks an hour. Look, if you're in the restoration business, if you're if you're cleaning carpets and you're doing water restoration, you're doing trying to do if you're trying to do odor controls, you got to get on the program. Yeah, you have to. I don't know how you're doing it. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're doing it without the warthog. So tell me, tell me, what was the worst odor job you ever did with an ozone machine? Oh, the two ladies they sent me to the apartments. The lady had like. 13, 14 cats. Porter house. Inside the house for 10 years. As soon as I got to the door, I didn't even knock on the door yet. I could smell the cats. Oh. I could smell the cats. Did you, how many machines did you use on that job? Four. Four. Yeah, and we, and, and we did several sessions. Yeah. Several sessions. And got it out. There were some other things involved, but yes, we did get it out. I mean, we're talking structural. Oh, when you got urine, I mean, by the way, we're, for we're, those of you at talking. home that don't know, part of the IICRC Certified Odor Removal Technician Manual requires for urine first to spray with vinegar, which has 5% uh, acetic acid. 5%, yes. And so urine comes out of our bodies as, as a, an acid, but it dries to an alkali salt. And so if you want to get rid of that urine odor, that gets down into floorboards and concrete, ozone is not Casper the Friendly Ghost. We had to replace all of it. We, we had to take all that carbon. It doesn't out. go through the walls. And so you've got to do something to neutralize the alkali salts. And then the next pr uh, part of the IICRC Certified Odor Removal Technician Guideline is 6% hydrogen peroxide to carry an ozone-like molecule in through capillary action. So you're, you're borrowing 
a function of water that gas doesn't have, which is capillary action. So it draws it down into the boards or into the, the porous concrete. And then IICRC says, set up the ozone cannons. But I've been to the IICRC certified odor removal technician class. They're not used to real ozone. I don't think there's anybody around in my area here that's, I, I don't know, do you, I don't know if you have anybody else using them. I couldn't I, tell you. I, 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 don't, all over I, I don't know how, I don't know how they're doing it. Um, I mean, I always thought that I was actually using ozone, but okay, so maybe that is ozone, but is it real ozone? Is it, you know, large amounts of ozone? See, that's the real thing. When, when manufacturers tell people about their ozone generators, ozone is just one molecule and it, you know, it's O3. But to do work with ozone, this is what I've discovered. The real number, I can't rate a machine in. The real number is called parts per million. And PPMs is where you've got to jack that building up in PPMs to do work. The problem is it's a volume dependent measurement. So that means you can take this crappy little small 1500 milligram ozone generator and you can put it into a Tupperware container and you will get to really high parts per million. But when you take it out and you put it in a living room, it's not getting the same uh, amount of ozone. Just like you can take a candle, that flames 400 degrees. If you put it in a shoebox, it's an effective heater. Right. Put it in your kitchen, it's not going to raise the temperature a degree. So, to get real work out of ozone gas, you've got to jack those parts per millions up. And the only way to do that is milligrams per hour. We're, we're using, uh, we're using uh, your machines now uh, for sterilizing. We, we, do, we, have, we do the air duct cleaning. Oh, do you? Yeah. We're also using, the, we're using negative air and the rotor brush combined. All of our sterilizing now all of our sanitizing air ducts, we're using the ozones. We're not using the chemicals anymore. And you used to use oxine or something like yes, it? Yes, yes. We were thermofogging. We even have a Golden Eagle. I don't know if you're familiar with the yeah. Golden Eagle. We, yeah, we have one of those. So we, we're, we're not using the Golden Eagle. We're not using the thermofoggers anymore. This, this is the only way to go. Well, you know, the funny thing is, I debuted my first ozone generator at the NADCA convention in Tucson, Arizona. It was either 2008, Ron Wiggins. 2008 or 2009. Ron Wiggins. And uh, NADCA is the National Association of Duck Cleaners of America, for those of you at home that don't know. But that same year, the EPA had come out and said, you can't just fog or thermal fog a chemical that's an EPA approved sanitizer, like oxine, through an air duct system and say that you're sanitizing. Because there's no way sucking on one end with your HEPAVAC and fogging from the other that you can guarantee coverage of those sidewalls and those seams. Well, not, not only that, Charles, you're, 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 you're reintroducing moisture into the system. That's a whole secondary thing, and you're, I'm so glad you said that. That's, yeah. Because and, as and an that, indoor air quality mold guy, you know I know about moisture. Gas is the only way to go. And as a structural dryer, I know you know all about moisture. Yeah, that's... Um... See, ozone is a USDA organic label program approved sanitizer in its aqueous and gaseous stages. And so, you know, you put those ducts under positive pressure and you're forcing that gas out through any of the seams that aren't sealed. So you're getting in, even in between. You're getting down into the little nooks and crannies where of the, the bio nesting areas. Where the, where, the metal, where, the, where the metal is bent. Yeah. And yeah, it's. I mean, this. I mean, this house we just did yesterday. I just can't believe it. And then, um, not too long ago, on John Anderson here, uh, talking. You know, a million dollar home, and high dollar wood floors. The house was rented out. They kept a German Shepherd in the uh, master bedroom and the bath which was all this is high dollar wood how are you going to get this smell out well, one of the realtors said well they remembered that we had the ozones sure so we actually got rid of all the pet smell high dollar wood you're not putting any chemicals on this wood now we did use a dehumidifier we use an air scrubber and then we put the uh, 28 28k one yeah. of the 28K yeah. uh, ozones, and the next day, gone. Right. 
Never had, never had to put any kind of liquid, never had to touch the wood. So, so you've told me you do realtors, you do doctor's offices. Yes. You do, you ever done any schools? I, I have done schools, but I haven't used the ozones in the schools. Okay. We, uh, do, we, have, we have done work in the schools. Daycare centers? Yes. Who, what other types of, of businesses do you treat? Um, car dealerships? You ever done cars? I have done cars. I haven't done any for car dealers. Um, we're, I mean, if I was just starting out. You would. Oh, I'd hit every car dealer in town. Right, you've done jobs for just people that you know that know about yours. We don't sure. really, we don't really do cars anymore. Now yeah. we do, we do planes, we do boats. You planes and boats. Yeah, we do, we do a lot of the Lears down here at the airport, uh, and then we do a lot of the. Uh, so, we, we got eighty five. So I've airport. done a Learjet one time. I was in Ohio, and they agreed to let me shoot a video if I would do the Learjet, and it was smoke. Uh, so they had some big wig in there smoking cigars. It was for First Energy up in Ohio, which is the electric company. And it was a great video because I had the, the hose going through from the ozone machine right through the cockpit window. I didn't even know cockpit windows opened up in airplanes, but they do. And so we're pumping the ozone in. It did a great job. They were thrilled. And then security took the video footage from us before we got out of the building. Even though the whole deal was the only way I did the treatment was to get the video. But uh, it's cool that you've done planes. Yeah, we do planes. We do and now boats. here, do you do the boats in the spring when they're after they've been cooped up all winter, or how's that work? Okay, we did one boat. It was, uh, I think it was like an eighty-five, right? Yeah, it was right about. Yeah, I'm not. It's right about an eighty-five footer, where the. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, eighty-five feet. That's a million dollar boat. The diesel. Oh, this is way over. Oh, this, I'm sure. This, this, the diesel. Something happened with the motor where the diesel fuel backed up. Oh yeah. So we're talking diesel fuel fumes, in, yeah, fumes inside the boat, and we cleaned everything. Ozone. The, the, our last step was the ozone. Knocked it out. Yes, yes. You ever done a skunk job? No. No. Okay. <laughs> dead bodies. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Makes done, mince meat out of the dead bodies. I've, I've done. I've done some of those, and then. Um, I guess one of the worst that I ever worked on, somebody rented a, a rider, uh, like a budget truck, yeah, and they had it loaded with fish, and this, uh, this was not a cooler, with the wood plank floors. Oh boy. Yeah. The truck broke down, it wasn't chilled, and we're talking fish. You're talking tough. Wow. Yes. That's... that's, that's Power cool. washed it first? Power washed it, did everything we could, got everything down to a certain level, hit it with the locked it up, locked it up with the, this was up in Virginia, locked it up with the ozone. I'm not saying we got it completely out, but it was 99% better than what it was. Really? They, they couldn't take that truck back like that. There's wow. no way. We're talking about all the fish. But they were able to get it returned and not uh, have to buy a new truck. All right. Amazing. Exactly. Well, that's really, really, really great. I, I don't know if you have any other advice you'd like to share for other business owners, or if you want to tell people a little bit more about your services, since this is going to be going out all over the internet. Well, we, we, we did one not too long ago. We did a job for a realtor. Um, she's listing the house, a two-story house, large house. Uh, the man smoked cigars. The lady smoked cigarettes in this house for two years, never opened up a window. And the realtor calls me up. She says, I got a big problem here. We we took two we took four ozones four mm -hmm. to twenty eight we took uh, put two upstairs two down yeah that, that place was atrocious I mean it was terrible yeah and we knocked it down so the house is sold everybody's happy yeah we got paid and That's right uh, I, I mean it makes a big difference to the bottom line if you sell a house and it stinks it's gonna take thousands and thousands of dollars off that sale price. It yep. takes thousands and thousands of dollars to correct some of these problems if you don't have this type of equipment. I've had many, many clients that will come into a house that's for sale and the realtor will say, well, we got a quote of five grand from ServPro, seven grand from ServiceMaster or one of these other companies. And, you know, because they're going to power wash or not power, TSP the walls. They're going to, you know, rip out the carpets. They're going to primer everything with an oil-based primer. 
use a lot of labor and you know my guys come in and say oh, I'll do that for a thousand dollars now all of a sudden you know it's that Ronco time money you know yeah. it doesn't matter if it's a you know a thousand a million square foot house or I mean excuse me a million dollar house or a, a you know hundred thousand dollar house the ozone does all the work so you still only have ten minutes of setup and ten minutes of breakdown well, on average, one, unless you're doing carpet cleaning stuff for other stuff. The one we just did was what twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, twenty five hundred dollars. You did a twenty five hundred dollar odor job. Yes. Yeah. And that's and that wasn't even with this. That was with the tool buy. That was with the twenty eight k. Yeah. So you've charged thousands for a job before. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. We're uh, we go to work every day. That's right. We work every day. And I'm telling you, if you're not afraid to talk to people, if you're not afraid to get out there and shake somebody's hand and introduce yourself, it's it's too easy. This is the low. This is one of the the, the smallest startup businesses that I can think of. I can't I can't think of any any. It's it, it's it's too easy. It's too easy. If you you just have to you just have to just get up off the couch and go do, and go talk to people. And this is what I've said for years. You know. Nobody's ever going to hand you anything, but this is the only, the only businesses I know with such a low startup, you can get out there, you can get in the business, you can start pumping hands, putting cards in people's hands, knocking on doors, and the only thing that's going to stop you is you not getting off your duff and getting out there and making it happen. You would have to be really really deficient to not make your money back in a very short amount of time. If you're starting off fresh and, and you don't have a foundation to work with like we do, you hit the, the, the motels, the hotels, the car dealers, and I guarantee you, you're working. Yeah. You're, you're in business. Now you had doctor's offices, dentist's offices, well, you hit the daycare This centers. is all referral. I, this yeah. is one doctor telling another doctor, hey, you got to get with these guys. Now, did you ever work on, did you ever do any work with the uh, athletic equipment? I got a lot of guys making mo big money doing footballs, pads, and helmets and stuff. So a lot of these health clubs, and especially uh, the spas, um, the, 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 let's say the bathrooms, or even the, and the other areas, so oh, you've done this, gymnasiums before? I have done gymnasiums. Great. I, 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 I used to, yeah, I, I've done gymnasiums. I've, I've done... Uh, Takes the, the body over right out. It kills everything. Yeah. It kills everything. It's amazing, you know, you go to China or Japan or Korea, they know ozone. They use it in all kinds of household products. It's common. Have you ever used uh, an ozone made in Japan? Or I mean, in China, I have, yeah. Low output. It's yeah. You might as well just stick with one of these right here. I I got it. I know. Because I have friends that have them right now. Yeah. In the motel, have them. They own the motel. He said, "Oh, well, I'm, you know." Yeah. But you know, he's always wanting to borrow one of ours. I wonder why. <laughs> he's always wanting no. Yeah. Chucky's always oh, wanting yeah. to borrow one of <laughs> ours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. It's the truth. Awesome. Well, I just want to thank you so much for your time. I don't know if you ever want to throw a picture, picture business a little bit. It's advanced, advanced carpet cleaning here in Ormond Beach. So if you guys ever have a fire job, a flood job, uh, structural drying, carpet cleaning, and you're within a radius around Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach, this is the guy to call, Bobby Gentry. Yep. We'll make it happen. Serve Pro Service Master. I've done, I've done a lot of fire damage, smoke damages. If anybody wants to, you know, just try the machine out, they're welcome to come by and they're welcome to take the machine and try it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stanley Steamer. Well, I'm talking it. about customers for your business. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if somebody... A lot of people somebody... watch these videos and, you know, when I know your character and I know you've been doing this for so long and I know all your qualifications and certifications, I'm just saying, if you've got a problem like that, this is the man to call, Bobby Gentry. Oh, thanks, Charles. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate Thank it, Charles. Thank right. you, sir. Sure. All right.